In this week's episode of Working with Todoist, it's about how to tame an out of control project. Hello and welcome to episode 115 of my Working With To Do A series. And in this week's episode, I want to show you some of the things that you can do that can tame an out of control project. Now, what I'm talking about specifically is a project that you've been working on for a few months and you've been adding tasks and adding and trying to do the things that you need to do on a daily basis to get the project completed. But you've been adding things at the same time so the project has been getting bigger or at least not actually shrinking as you would normally expect. So what I mean is, is in the ideal world we, we plan out a project in whatever way we plan projects out. We transfer the tasks into Todoist and then in the ideal world, we go tick, 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 or check, 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 and the project starts shrinking, things get better, and eventually you do the final task and the project is complete. However, as I'm sure you have found out, in the real world, that doesn't happen because we're adding tasks, we're not quite finishing tasks, and eventually, as I often find, a project looks or starts to look very, very messy. And one of the benefits of doing a weekly review is you can clean up projects. And what I want to do is today I want to show you a project that I've actually been working on over the last few months. It's now come to a complete, well, it's almost complete now. And I want to show you how I've kept or maintained the tidiness and logic within the project. So let me show you, because it's obviously very difficult to explain uh, just talking to the camera. So what I will do is I'll go, we'll go into Todoist right now and let me show you what I mean. Okay, so in this example, I'm going to show you a, I'm actually using my demo account here, which is why all my projects look very different. I should point that out because I don't want you to, this looks so different from what he normally shows. Now this is my demo account. Uh, and this is actually a reproduction of what my, um, success online my success online course was looking like last week um, although I did add a few here which is how the project would start off like so when I start a project off it's basically I'm going to start off particularly if I'm writing a course or some online material uh, or book writing or anything like that it's going to start off with create an outline for the course um, I would then in this case, for an online course, I'm going to continue creating a list of lectures. I like to list out uh, the lectures that I'm going to put into the course. And I would normally do that in Evernote uh, because it just is a better place for adding a list of things like that. I'm not going to be checking these off. They're not tasks. So that would be done in Evernote. And what I would do in normal situation is I would actually put an Evernote link here to the lecture because then it's just a quick click it's take me straight to the lecture uh, to the list of lectures and then I would actually have a record um, sorry I would have a task which would say record lectures for success course as I did in this one now I recorded the lectures for this course over a period of two days so let's say it is Wednesday now I complete that but I wouldn't actually tick it off because I needed two days. What I would do is I would just adjust the date and I would change it to say Thursday and then that would be the day that I would go in. So and I would flag that red because that is actually going to be an appointment because I need time in the office to record those lectures. And then I've got a miscellaneous list of things that I've just added. And this is where projects start to go really confusing and very messy. Because what we're doing is we throw things into our inbox throughout the day. I certainly do. I start throwing things into my inbox. And then what happens is when I process at the end of the day, if I haven't got much time, what I'm doing really is I'm just throwing the stuff into the project that it's relevant for. I know that I'm going to do a weekly review. 
And even then though, sometimes my weekly reviews can be done very quickly. I need to know what's on my schedule because I don't have much time. So imagine that this is now a weekly review. It's Sunday afternoon when I do my weekly review and I've got all these things that I've actually thrown into my Evernote throughout the week and I've just thrown them into the project. So I've got a few with labels here and I've just got things, all sorts of things that I've got in here. Now one of the things that I notice is adding this week's medium blog post on simplifying your goals. What's your purpose of life? What does that mean? Actually I do know. So what I'm going to do is with a project like that, I've thrown that in because it was a quick capture throughout the day. Um, right. I know that that is going to be a worksheet because that's in the uh, thing so I would actually do that and because I know it writing a worksheet like that is a bit of design so I'm going to be doing that on my computer so that's done I wouldn't necessarily put a date in that but now I've added a label here is another one adding this week's medium blog post on simplifying your goals this one uh, as it's going to be added into the course again it's going to be on the computer uh, I'm not going to put a date in that but I know what it means Prepare checklist PDF file that's already got one. Write SWOT analysis worksheet that's already done. And then I've got these tasks down here. Check I have added what are you afraid of worksheet. Now that one is again it's something that I need to look at on my computer. So I'm going to add in the label computer because that's saved in Dropbox. I suppose I could look at it on my iPad. I've got to think about one here which is a think about marketing plan that's a thinking I haven't actually got um, in my main account I do actually have um, a thinking label so I'm going to add that in there look into Facebook ads that's on the internet oops I don't want to add in sorry look into Facebook ads that's going to be a, a research project so I'm going to put research <laughs> I, don't, I have research in my main account so <laughs> I'm just going to add that one in yes and then do the welcome and congratulations method. I know that's going to be on my computer. So that's done. So now what I've done is I've added the labels to these ones, but it's still looking messy. So how do I clean this up? Now, the truth is you've actually got two ways of doing this. You could uh, just create sub projects for these. But one of the ways I do it is and it just makes life a lot easier is I create a non-completable task and I still by the way prefer the star um, and I just title that things to add and I should point out that I use this on this particular um, non-completable project for all sorts of projects that I'm working on not just online courses I would actually create this for my book writing or any courses that I'm developing for my clients or lectures. Things to add is where I just throw stuff that I can add once I've done the main part. So things to add is going to be things like think check I have added. So that's uh, one I would put into things to add. Um, right slot analysis I would add that. So all you're doing is just dragging the project the things that you want to do. So this things to add is becoming it becomes like a checklist if you like and I'm just dragging them underneath that one um, and then that's another things to add I can just add that in and that's how I would do that so what I've done now is I've actually cleaned up a lot of this project um, but this things to add label is so, this things to add non-completable project is really useful now it is true I could actually create a project below um, and I could title it things to add and I would indent it so it's in this project and so if we go into here I could actually if I wish just drag these and down to that particular I, I'm going to show you this but it doesn't actually work this is really one of those things that you think I wish that Todoist would actually do this so that when you do a um, when you do a there we go and I can just add them in there so that's that done so cancel that uh, and then I could just delete that if I wish. So there's a couple of ways that you can do. Um, and then I've got my main projects up here are the things that I have to work on. And then I've got my things to add on this way. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Um, to be honest, I think generally this way is probably the best way because then you can just focus in so much easier on what you have to add into the course. Um, it's entirely up to you how you do it but that is one of the best ways to clean up a project that's just got out of hand and as I said in the introduction it might not be your intention when you start 
Uh, you might like to think that our projects are going to be nicely logically ordered throughout the, the life of the project. But the real truth is that in the day-to-day -day life of the way things work, things are going to get messy. So if you've got a very big project, then you can just create a things to add. Now, I could go in a bit further and I could say, well, I've got marketing plan and look into Facebook ads. This could be like further research or it could I could just add in another project. I probably wouldn't because the top of here is where it's most important. And um, these three things, nothing down here is going to happen until these three things have really been done. So as far as I'm concerned, this is in a nice place. So let's say I've created the outline, that's done. I've continued creating the lecture list, that's done. And remember, this one is actually a recurring task. I've set it for every two days. But once it's been completed, I can just archive the task. It's done. Let's say I've recorded the lectures, which in this case I have. I need to think about the marketing plan. I do need to look into the Facebook ads and I've already done the welcome and congratulations. And then, so when you get towards the end of the project, you've got these little things that you want to look at. Now, the things to add, I should point out, can also be little reminders just to check that you've done something as well. So that's just something to keep in mind on when you've done it. But this is how you can really clean up a project that's just got out of hand. And they do. They do get out of hand out of time because you're just throwing things into them on a daily basis. So on a Sunday when you're, or whenever you do your weekly review, you can just go in and clean things up and just add in the a divider you can do it as a non-completable project if task if you want or you can just add in a project okay i hope that's helped you to uh, to figure out ways that you might be able to clean up your project list because it does get out of hand from time to time i should point out that my success for how to uh, complete guide to creating a successful life uh, will be live early next week so if you are interested in taking that course Keep an eyes open on my website, carlpaline.com. There'll be a link to it in my in the notes section below, and it'll give you the full details of what's in the course, and it should be launched early next week, so keep your eyes open for that. And if you keep an eye on my videos coming up later this week, I will be putting in a special promotion offer for you guys who watch the, my videos so that you can get uh, quite a lot of money off. So keep your eyes open for that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and it just remains for me to wish you all a very, very productive week.